Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Canterario Bosses Survive. This is the first Canterario Bosses Survive of the new year. Happy 2022 everybody. Hopefully it's a good year. Who the hell knows? But yes, we are here with this weapon right here. The Snow Grave from the Cromer mod. As you can see, does a good bit of magic damage. Has a little reference. Snow Grave, I don't know that spell. Watch what happens when I cast a spell I don't know. I wonder what's gonna happen. But yeah, I believe this is a Delta Rune. Is that how you say it? Or is it Delta Troon? Deltrune? Reference. Still need to get around to playing Undertale and Delta Rune, honestly. That's that's on the giant list of games I need to play. All 500, 600 games that are on there. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm looking at the mini map. There's a lot of NPCs because there might have been some NPC Olympics things that happened on here. And then I canceled it because these dudes, when it comes to this chair NPC mini game, they take forever. And of course, we have our winner right here. No spoiler. Go watch the damn video. All right, let's get to it, though. I believe this is actually going to be the 40th episode very very nice let's kill this dude hold up let me take that off boom gotta get that little lag when you get the first kill it's usually what happens in this world but king slime has been defeated i right, cthulhu boom i didn't really show off how the weapon works this, this is how it works okay got a lot of like snow type of attacks just raining from the ceiling you love to see it. Hopefully it does some good damage to all these bosses. Hopefully it kills all of them. That's really what I wish for any weapon that we test out is for it to kill every single boss we encounter. Because I want the best for all weapons. And also, I feel like we're too deep into the series to be seeing weak ass weapons. We're way too far to see a weapon that struggles with, you know, any boss. Well, I, there's still bosses here and there that weapons will struggle with. But you get what I'm saying. All right. Hopefully me not saying the names of the bosses won't confuse people. What's going on right now? I'm, I'm being manipulated. I, I just started flying upwards right there and I wasn't even pressing anything. But yeah, I know when I don't announce the boss names, people get confused and they go, you forgot to do this boss. And they're literally like watching the video. As the boss passes through, it goes over their mind. They're like, hold up. Did he do that boss? He didn't say anything. That's usually how it is, sadly. But let's go ahead. Let's run through the Eater of Worlds here. And we're heading on down to hell. Let's see. Where do I want to put some boxes today? Damn. It's pretty consistent where the boxes are. Look at this. Look at this. There's so many boxes everywhere. It's starting to look beautiful, honestly. We just need more on this left side. Okay, okay. No problem. I could add to that. All right, let's get it. Where yet? Where yet? Come on in. I got kind of scared, though, because uh, I don't know. This weapon does go through walls. Some, some of the attacks, some of them get stuck. A majority of them, honestly, get stuck. So I was a little scared there. All right, let's get to it. Let's get the mech trio out. Usually I summon in the mech trio with one spawn item. But, you know, I think recently I've been just spawning them in normally like that i don't know i just feel like doing it normally here we are jungle temple let's take on the golem let's take on plantera it's going good so far i have not seen any resistance at all you usually don't see resistance from the vanilla bosses if we are being honest but actually nah that's kind of a lie we do see some resistance here and there there's a couple bosses that do resist it's usually like the brain let's take on the empress of light just kidding still can't do that not until the year 20 what did i say 2080 2030 when team model order 1.4 actually comes out alpha not included obviously all right let's bring in the uh old ones army's bunch betsy ogre let's get him out of here let's bring in my favorite dutchman the flying one let's bring out my favorite martian the saucer one. Wait, no, it's the wrong one. The core. Gotta spawn in the core. Duh. Again, I do appreciate that the Thorium mod added in treasure bags to uh, bosses that don't have them. That's, that's a very nice feature right there. Shout out Thorium. Great mod. You know, if you're still one of those people that are asking, yo, game readers, I haven't played Mod Terraria yet. What is a good first mod to start off with? Thorium. Great mod. Has a nice vanilla type feel to it. A lot more game friendly. You know, it's not like a giant mod like some other Terraria mods are. You won't be confused. And then after you play Thorium, then you can start hopping into some bigger stuff. Another good mod to start with the Spiro mod. There's a lot of fairly decent sized mods that are good to start with. Hold up. I was about to summon in the pillars straight up. Have I ever done that? I don't know if I've ever done that. It's probably been a while since I summoned in pillars straight up. I meant to summon in this dude. Ooh, you know, I get scared fighting Akram just because he tends to freeze the game. You know, I do get people questioning, why is the dungeon like 
covered in rainbows and stuff or just like rainbow colored it's a video it's a video that added in items that you know can paint a bunch of stuff old video check it out still a good video all right let's kill these guys can i kill them kind of almost come on there we go might be a little hard to hit the lunatic cultist on spawn hold up let me like bring this as low as i can okay never mind didn't work out it's all good he'll teleport up there i hit him with that and now we got the pillars of course we got to do the spiller the spiller we got to do the pillar speed run the spiller honestly that's like speed running pillars together the spiller that might be what we say from now on all right and with those guys defeated let us of course bring in skeletron nope that's the wrong guy the dungeon guardian is what i meant to say boom what's up get him out of here that's a good sign that is a good sign from a weapon hey again make sure to leave some suggestions for future weapons weapons are getting hard to find for this series that's why the episodes don't come out as often just keep that in mind all right also subscribe to the second channel come on y'all gotta sub to the second channel you miss any live streams you check out the second channel because that's where the live streams are let's bring in this guy uh, he pretty much got insta killed he dies so quickly and to shoot so many projectiles so even if he doesn't get insta killed by like the first hit he still dies pretty quickly moon lord time let me get that top eye out of here right away right away i love when i hit that top eye super quick makes life easier all right sure bring in some other thorium bosses who the hell cares They'll probably all die really quick that guy was too loud for no reason and then let's bring in these dudes of course what's up boys oh oh they died pretty quickly like, I only had to click probably two times to kill all of them. All right, we are moving right along here. All right, let us take on the mutant from the Fargo's mod. Boom. What's up, bro? Please die quickly. He's going to do the giant beam. Honestly, beautiful. I, I love that death. Oh, and I hear him causing havoc down there. All right, let's fight some Calamity bosses. What is this? I've never noticed these planets up here. Look at this. These got to be new. <laughs> these like giant exodium planets up in the sky i don't remember them same thing with this one no this one is just gone i do remember that one all right let's fight the the dog i'm gonna let me use this spawner boom what's up dog is he dead yes first phase done we still got a lot of segments to go in that portal there you go that took a while i love seeing these uh the him pop out of the portals and stuff it feels really cool it looks really cool too and there you go he is dead. Bye-bye. Who the hell is this? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the jungle. Let's go ahead. Let's fight. Yarn. What's up, bro? I hope this goes fast. Okay, good. Thank you. Couldn't have gotten any better. Alright, where is Supreme Cal? You're down here for some reason. What are you doing down here? You just chilling down here? Damn, it's dark as fuck. I like how she's slowly just drowning, but she has so much health. <laughs> she has so much health, it doesn't even matter. Hey, can I fight you? How do we fight her? Do we just summon it? Let me just summon her in through this. Boom. Damn, she broke all the trophies. What the heck? She's trying to ruin my world, bro. All right, let's get it. Where's that boy Sepulcher at? Can I kill you? Oh, shit, I can. Sepulcher is dead. Let's break her hearts. The hearts look way cooler. I like this fight. This fight is a lot, a lot better looking, I guess. Is the fight over? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the fight is over. Cool, I guess. I'm gonna reset these trophies back up, okay? Because I felt like it was very rude of her to even break the trophies. Because, like, come on. You know how I love having my world be, like, a giant history area? There's a lot of history in this world. Why are you breaking my shit? All right, let's take on the uh, newer bosses from the mod. A.K.A. What the hell are they called? The Exomech Trio? Let me find them. How do I spawn them in again? I need to spawn in somebody. Dradon, that's who. Is he on the boss section? He is not. All good. There he is. What's up, bro? Make your choice. Who do I want to start with this time? Let's do Ares. Let's do Ares. Okay, see you later, Ares. I wonder if there's a way I could turn off, like, all these, like, speech things. All these, like, dialogues and calamity. There's gotta be. Maybe in, like, the, uh, when I'm enabling the mods, it's got that little cog I could click on and, you know, fuck with the mod options. Possibly. Possibly. All right. So, he disappeared. I think the last time we fought him, we did actually fight all three of the bosses. It's all good. I'll spawn him in myself and hope I kill him. Please die. You're lagging my game. Please die. God, I don't, I don't, I don't know, guys. Oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> he died, and look, everybody else is here. 
Oh, look, everybody else died. All right, I'm going to consider that a W because uh, I don't want to test out the uh, frame rate dropping like that again. All right, let's go ahead. Let's bring in the boys here. You got a Knuckles, Bill Cipher. Got to remember that I got to use their actual items here. But there has been those few times where we didn't use their items, but we spawned them in. I, sh I will always remember that because it was, it was such a weird moment. All right, go ahead. Walk right into this. There's no way that he's the first one to survive. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. This is the first dude to survive this. What? <laughs> that is insanity. All right, you win. You win. I want to go fight Bill now. I'm, I'm going over here. I'm going across the world. <laughs> I'm going way over here to fight Bill. All right, Bill, let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. There we go. Okay, Bill died. You got any knuckles? Absolutely not. Maybe they buffed him because he's got a movie coming out or he's in a movie. You know, that new Sonic coming out. I watched the first one. The first one was pretty good. I remember in the theater, there was a bunch of hyped little kids. <laughs> like, I remember literally a kid getting up next to me on the stairs. You know how there's the stairs in the theater to get up to your seats? This kid was hitting dances. He was getting hyped to Sonic, bro. And then I picked him up and threw him down the stairs because he was interrupting my movie. Like, come on. Where's your manners at, child? All right. You know who we got to finish it off with. Let's bring in the Eidolon Worm. Of course, the super boss. Wow, so super. What a crazy boss. And then, of course, the finale, Ek Death. Where are you at, my boy? Long time no see, Ek Death. Oh, see you later, though. See you later. One, one, more, one more time. Yes, sir. All right, so that's kind of weird that, like, really the only boss that we didn't kill was Ugandan Knuckles. That's crazy. What type of world do we live in where we kill Ek Death? over Uganda knuckles what the heck but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed happy new year's first episode of the new year's first video i'll probably post for the new year's uh for me for me obviously people live in different time zones because i already know like half of the comments for the uh, npc olympics that i literally just posted before recording this all the comments are like it's 2022 for me it's 3 a.m 2022 for me it's like okay bro i get it there's time zones it's like the people that be coming in the twitch streams then they're like game writers why are you streaming so late like meanwhile it's like 7 p.m for me <laughs> but yeah i do got a couple things to say subscribe to the second channel follow the twitch follow the instagram because i have an instagram and also follow the tiktok that's right there's a game writers tiktok it's gonna pretty much be like the instagram i'm gonna be posting a bunch of funny highlight clips stuff like that on there so go ahead and follow that it should just be game raiders that should just be the tiktok name because some motherfucker took game raiders 101 i'm pretty sure there's like three people on there pretending to be me a bunch of bitches fuck you guys whoever took the name is pretending to be me like i think one of them literally had creator the creator tag you can get on tiktok fuck you fake ass wannabe imposter ass but yeah again thank you for watching the video shout out the mod developer leave mod suggestions a lot of things i gotta say Hope you enjoyed the video.